write a tune for each individual that I play with, uh, and I try to match it to my impression of their personality, uh, compositionally speaking, and then also personally speaking. And Mike has this thing, he has a lot of things. Uh, the virtuosic stuff, um, I, I didn't write a tune like that, um, mostly because we don't have too much time to rehearse, and there was a festival this weekend, and so we didn't get to do that. But the, the other thing that he likes are a slash chord, so one chord on top of another one. Uh, and that's that's in here. And the other thing he likes to do is he likes to just present me or people he was plays with. He's like, oh, I just wrote these up today. And it's just a little sketch kind of thing. And it actually is really cool. And each time we play those tunes, that little sketch changes. And I love his compositions because they're not so structured that you can't get in there and change it every time. So I wrote a piece originally called Jazz Sketch for him. Uh, and then I changed it to jazz a sketch, because we always make fun of jazz. <laughs> and, uh, and it's actually like an etch-a-sketch, where like every time it's different, you know, like you draw something and you can shake it up and then it's different every time. So this is jazz a sketch.
Thanks. It'll be totally different next time, I think.
that's one of those uh, <laughs> sketchy pieces, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have much music written on the page. You have to kind of create it as you go, and it's fun to do that. I really like to leave a, leave a lot in a moment when you can create it together. That's, that's fun. Um,
up. That's probably kind of what I think alarm clock should sound like. Towards the end. Should get you to kind of be subtle, you know, be more subtle. But a hand once again for Mike Holstein. I still can't get over the fact that I've never heard this guy play guitar.
Thank you. I played with Bill when we played at uh, ISIS at the original music series. And I wanted to thank Bill again for having me here in the White Horse. I appreciate it.
do one last one. And uh, I just want to thank Mike once again for, for doing this. So, so it's a pleasure. And, uh, especially fun when he's played with someone lots of times before, but never in a duo context to try this out. It's fun. We've never done this before, so that's a good thing. And um, I should mention that next, next uh, month we'll have a violinist extraordinaire uh, named Lindsay Pruitt. She is the real deal, so I hope you check her out.